Welcome to Toffee Blue View, your source for all things Everton. I'm Jerry. David has decided to stay. Mm. Max has flown. He's migrated. All right? To wherever the uh, to wherever the red bearded men go. I don't know. Hey, we're doing a new segment uh, called Player Scenarios, and that's what this is. Uh, basically, what's happening is we uh, propose uh, a scenario like which which uh, Everton player do you think is the best gardener? Okay, and you have to say the best and the worst for that scenario. Okay, who would make who would make the best diplomat? Who would make the best? I don't know, clothing designer, people, Fine. things like that. Okay, so our our scenarios this week begin with which Everton player do you think would make the best? Action hero. And we do have Max's answers, so I'll throw those out as soon as David has finished gracing us with his. Who's the, the best uh, action hero that's on the Everton squad at the moment, David? Um, certainly after the World Cup on Road, so I go with Jordan Pickford. Uh, you, know, you can imagine them leap, leaping about, you know, getting out to the bad guys, getting the girl at the end. Uh, yeah, he's, he's the man, isn't he, at the moment? I totally agree, and that's who I picked. Okay, completely agree. Because it's not just the fact that he's, you know, unafraid to throw himself around. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that he's his personality. Yeah. You know, he just looks looks difficulty in the face, and he doesn't care. You know, I feel like I could hear him, you know, just... Now, now I will say, if we were talking about an action movie bad guy, I say Bessage. Just saying. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Different, okay... But so funny thing is David and I both say Pickford. Max says uh, Leighton Baines. He thinks Leighton Baines is your is your action movie, uh, most likely to be an action hero, uh, Everton player. And his least, the worst possibility to be an action hero for him is Pickford. Because he thinks that Pickford, uh, he has trouble imagining him doing Tom Cruise one-liners. Mm. All right. So there's that. Um, funny thing, David. Who's your worst selection to be an actor? <laughs> so completely unplanned, and that's genuine. It is actually Leighton Baines, just because I think he's just too cool. There needs to be if something like that was going on, you could see him just being in a field with a guitar, you know, playing some sort of Last Shadow puppets covers or whatever, just not giving a flying fuck. So he's too cool for all that. Uh, yeah, that's. I, I I have trouble seeing Baines as an action hero as well. I said uh, my my least likely action hero is Davy Clausen. <laughs> just because I feel like Davy Clausen is not the kind of guy. I don't know. I just feel like every time I think Davy Clausen, I think he'd look at the camera and go. Yeah, yeah, just smile. You know, just. Smile and wave just seems like he's he's just constantly doing his thing. Even you know I don't know and I, and I can't really see him busting up bad guys. No, I don't know. Just no. can't see it. It's the slim figure. It's the receding hairline. And it's just the blonde hair. This doesn't go, does it really? Yeah, yeah. I just I just can't can't see it that much. Next, who is most likely? to be a reality show star. So if somebody if somebody were to make a reality show about this player's life, who's the most entertaining one? Who's whose show is going to is going to keep getting made? All right? David, who's our reality show star that's in the Everton squad? So I've gone for Tom Davis just because you know, the lad's just cool, isn't he? Like you see him now, he's riding skateboards around Liverpool, he's playing uh, one touch on the street. Uh, um, he dresses like he's from the 90s um, just a cool guy and I feel like a lot of people would be down for that that's who I said too it's mm. really uh, yeah it's weird we're actually linking up on a couple of these actually what's funny is we're linking up on a lot of them <laughs> but uh, I think he's just number one he's a single kid he's a kid and he's yeah. single so he uh, as in he's not married maybe he's got a girlfriend I don't know whatever but the fact is Married had, people are more predictable. Yeah. I was going to say, if you had the reality TV show, you probably know, wouldn't you? What he's up to with the, uh, the beds. Yeah. I mean, he's just, 
he's so unpredictable. You know, he's he'll just get up and do something. He's so impulsive. Yeah. He's just like, yeah, I feel like doing this, so I'm gonna do it. That to me is good entertainment. Mm. You know, uh, whether it's wearing socks with the slides or or uh, you know playing in the street <laughs> randomly, or it, deciding you know what I'm just gonna wear something odd yeah. today. You know, that at the very least, the thing about Tom Davis is his personal life is not shrug worthy. Yeah. You're not going to shrug at him. So. And yeah. I feel like Calvert Loon is a good uh, bit part in the, in the, you know, he just kind of comes in every so often. Agreed. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Max's uh, reality show star, and I also think this would be entertaining, is Umar Nias. Hmm. I have no idea what that guy's life yeah. is like. You know, you know. Now you've said that, I'm thinking, yeah, that I probably watched that. To be fair, I'd love to know what happens from 5 p.m. Saturday onwards. Like, what does the guy do? I just want to know what goes through his yeah. mind. I can't fathom it. He's just so I don't know. Like, you can't really tell. Like, all of his quotes seem to be very like, "Hey, I just want to work hard." Yeah. There you go. But you know, there's more to it. Yeah. Like does, gotta be. does he ever at any point not smile? Like, you know, like does he does his face ever just just straighten out at any point? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea what goes on in his life. To be honest with you, um, so Max's worst reality show star, I actually could see people watching, uh, is uh, Balassi. He is often recording himself. Yeah. And with all the different things he does, like rapping and all that kind of stuff, I feel like there is there is a an audience for Balassi. Yeah. But I think some of his stuff falls flat with a big contingent, and that's why maybe he wouldn't make the best for a lot of people. You know, I, I, I each each point that Max has made, I can kind of relate to what he's getting at, and even that Balassi one, I do understand what he's saying there, because. <laughs> He plays for Everton, but even I skip over those videos with him on Instagram, you know. Got no time for it. Uh, so, uh, David, who's your worst? It may just be a chance to have a cheap shot at Michael Keane, but Michael Keane would be mine, you know. He just looks bland, doesn't he? I, I'm sure he's such a nice lad, but, you know, he looks like he'd go on a night out and have a glass of water. He's just There's just nothing that seems to be going on there. You know, he's... Yeah. <laughs> Key. Uh, I said uh, a guy who I've actually never seen his expression change. And I don't know if I've ever read a quote from him. I'm sure they're out there. I just can't remember any. And that, I don't know. Uh, I said Cuco Martina. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, like, well, that's... <laughs> Now, the thing is, if the reality show were Cuco Martina like in Curacao, back home, that would be fascinating because then you're like trying to figure out who he is. But right now, he just seems like, you know, and it's like, there's no getting to know this guy. Yeah. We've had a year with him. Yeah, he just, he just exists, doesn't he? Like... Oh, I, 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 this, this subject's killing me. I just. <laughs> I, what does he do? Genuinely, what does that guy do? I don't know what he's into. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, not even his <laughs> fee was super interesting. He came in on a free, so it's just sort of, you know. His, his performances were so insignificant that he's never even been called for an interview after the game, or he just. Oh God. And I'll guarantee you there's a huge contingent of Everton supporters who have forgotten that he's still on. Yeah. You know, that yeah. he's still in the squad. And again, I don't want to seem like a jerk here. He, he's, he worked really hard for us last season, even though he's not really, you know, yeah. what we need. Yeah. He did work really hard. Seems like a nice guy. I just struggle to think he'd be a reality star. Just saying. Yeah. Fair point. So, uh, next, in the final category for, for this segment, <coughs> who is our best castaway? All right, who is going to, if they were stranded on a desert island, who would survive? David, who is your Tom Hanks? Uh, I think it was an easy one. I, I, I assume you must have went the same way, maybe Max, but Umani Ass. No, he's, 
he survived the abyss of Everton, so I'm pretty sure any uh, desert island could uh, throw at him. He'd, he'd handle pretty well. The guy could be yeah. left there with no way of getting back to shore, and he'd still find a way. See, I, I was sitting there thinking, no locker. You know, did, would he, was he even really given a number for a while there? No, he had no it's, squad number, did he? Yeah, it's the guy found a way to to stay on somehow, <laughs> you know? And so I just feel like if you, like you said, if he can survive the abyss at Everton, mm. I mean, yeah, Kuman just did his best to flush him. Yeah. And, and he's <laughs> staying on. And you know what? It seems to me like Silva has come out and said he's, He's in his plans for the season. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, I, I said uh, Omar Nias. Uh, and a shout-out for Mo Besic as well. Because you're talking about a guy whose coach, when he was in Germany, tried to strangle him. <laughs> and then he went to the Hungarian League. Mm-hmm. And he survived there, too. All right? Yeah. So... Yeah, that's Look, that's another survivor. He he also has a tattoo of knuckle dusters on his body, so you know, it's kind of give you an idea where that guy's at. He's got a bit of steel about him. Uh, so Max's suggestion uh, for his his castaway, his survivor, is Seamus Coleman, and you can't argue with that because you feel like wherever he goes, he'd figure out a way to thrive. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You know, he'd probably get up, get along with everybody. Uh, yeah, he's I, – I, I see where he's coming from with that. I really do. Um, plus, he survived a double leg break, mm. and now he seems like he's almost back – he's pretty much back to normal. Um, yeah. That's a thing. Um, Max's worst castaway, his least adept survivor, is Morgan Schneiderlin. And fair – you know, that's a fair enough suggestion because when things got rough last year, he just sort of decided, you know what, I'm not going to go after that loose ball. Oh, yeah. I'm just yeah. going to hang out. Yeah. Uh, and Leon, he, 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 he took a red card there, didn't need to get himself out of that 3 0. Felt Thought I'd had enough. I'm, I'm going to shoot off here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, my worst is somebody who I feel like gets attacked constantly by supporters for being a little mentally fragile in terms of emotions. So I would say Michael Keane because he just, he does, you know, he has some trouble when yeah. the going gets tough, you know? So, I'm and watch him turn around this season and just smash it. I hope so, man. That'd be great. Yeah. That'd be great. I hope uh, that. Mm. But... Yeah, right now he doesn't seem like he's like last season. He didn't do a whole lot of good uh, of adjusting mm-hmm. to systems or personnel. Uh, David, finish this up. Who's your who's your worst survivor? Yeah, for me it was Morales. Uh, yeah, reason being, he said you give him all the equipment that is out there. He cook. He'd make one great meal maybe once in every 12 days and it just wouldn't be enough to survive because he's too inconsistent. Uh, yeah, so he's my guy. He's my guy that I think would struggle. I think he'd struggle, Kev. That is a great suggestion, by the mm-hmm. way. Because, I mean, when you're surviving on a desert island, and I know this from experience, is you have to be <laughs> super consistent. Yeah. All right? You wake up, you got to take care of business, or you die. Yeah. All right? The one thing no one's ever really accused Morales of is consistency. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. All right. That's, that's a really good one, good one to end on there, Dan. I enjoy it. Uh, uh, yeah. I, so we're going to keep doing these. Mm-hmm. Uh, and at some point, we're going to do Player Scenarios Classic version, where we're going to be doing different uh, be previous years. Okay? So that'll be fun, too. Uh, so uh, that does it for uh, player scenarios. If you're digging the videos, please subscribe. Uh, slowly, slowly climb in the subscriber charts, and thanks so much for that. Uh, check out uh, check out David's stuff. Uh, y- but you know what? It could be on the Toffee Blues website, but it could be other places. Mm-hmm. So keep an eye on that guy's Twitter. It's right down there. Check it out. Uh, yeah, David, I guess that's it, man. That's it. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>